Welcome to our Tech Deep Dive. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many Apache Spark users encounter. Our viewer is facing a challenge with a connection reset by peer while running an Apache Spark job across two Hadoop clusters. Let's break down the scenario. We have two clusters, A and B, each with different configurations and roles in an ETL process. Component E and T, both running on cluster B, are responsible for extracting and transforming data, while component L, running on cluster A, loads the data into Hive tables. However, component T has been causing intermittent connection issues, leading to application stalls. So what could be causing this connection reset? Let's explore the details and potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the architecture of our two clusters, A and B. Cluster A has 20 commodity machines with a high availability configuration for the name node, while cluster B has only five machines without HA. This difference could impact the performance of our components. Now, let's focus on the components of our application. Component E runs on cluster B, picking files from NAS and storing them in HDFS. Component T, also on cluster B, transforms these files and writes them to HDFS in cluster A. Finally, component L runs on cluster A, loading data into Hive tables. The issue arises with component T, which intermittently throws a connection reset by peer exception. This suggests a problem with the communication between the DFS client and the name node in cluster A. We need to investigate the TCP connection behavior and the parameters affecting it. We explored several solutions, including adjusting the name node parameters like dfs.namenode.handler.count and ipc.server.listen.q.size. However, the issue persisted. We suspect that the RST flag might be set due to overload or network issues, particularly with the switches connecting the clusters. To move forward, we will analyze network traffic using tools like TCP Dump or Wireshark to identify where the RST flag is being set. Additionally, we will increase the queue sizes to better handle bursty traffic. This approach should help us pinpoint the root cause of the issue. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. First, check your network for issues, as there may be something odd causing the connection reset. However, consider separating the transformation step from the fragile intra-cluster transport. By splitting the work into smaller chunks, you can design a solution that allows for retries on failed steps without significant cost. In conclusion, while troubleshooting connection problems is important, designing for intermittent failure may be a better approach. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.